Now, India's moon mission rocket Chandrayaan-3 blasted off from Sri Harikota. The launch was successful as the spacecraft entered space after completing eight long stages. Soon after the liftoff, propulsion module successfully separated from the rocket. It would orbit the Earth about five to six times in an elliptical cycle, gradually moving towards the lunar orbit. 14th July will be etched in golden letters for India's space sector. यह भीम का रॉकेट आसमान को चीरते हुए अपनी भयानक दहाड़ से चारों ओर कंपन उत्पन्न कर रहा है कंग्रेचुलेशन इंडिया चंद्रयान थ्री हेज स्टार्ट इस जर्नी टूवर्ड्स मून आवर डियर एलवीएम थ्री हेज ऑलरेडी पुट चंद्रयान थ्री क्राफ्ट इन टू द प्रोसाइस ऑर्बिट अराउंड अर्थ Chandrayaan-3 as a follow-up to Chandrayaan-2 will attempt soft landing on the lunar surface. In addition, it will aim to reach the orbit of the moon and study the surface of the moon. The spacecraft will take over a month to reach moon's south pole. European Space Agency is also providing support to India's Chandrayaan-3 mission. The ESA has said that they will track the Indian spacecraft from its various centers and will share the data with their Indian counterpart. You would recall, Honorable Prime Minister had very recently said, sky is not the limit. And living by his words, I think the Chandrayaan today has gone beyond the limits of sky to discover the unexplored horizons of the universe beyond. India's Chandrayaan-3 is going to herald the country's quantum leap in the global arena. This is India's second attempt at lunar landing. If successful, this mission will make India the fourth country after the United States, Russia and China to achieve this feat. Launch has also added a feather in the cap of LVN-3 rocket. You can watch the jubilee and congratulatory gestures of his two scientists in the mission control center. We're coming to you at a historic moment. A journey, a historic journey by an Indian spacecraft is just about to begin. The countdown is now ending. And here you can see behind us the liftoff of India's largest and heaviest rocket, the LVM-3 vehicle. This is a 642-ton rocket that's lifting off. LVM-3 uh, is a rocket that is powered by three types of fuel, solid, liquid, and cryogenic fuel. You can see that the LVM-3 rocket is lifting off now. So as we speak, there's 400 tons of solid fuel that is burning. This is hydroxyl terminated polybutadiene ammonium perchlorate that's burning nearly through two-thirds of the rocket rocket's fuel is burning as we speak to get the rocket off the ground. Let's remember that this is a mission that will last about 16 and a half minutes. The rocket is now giving away its characteristic engine roar for almost an 8 kilometer radius around Satish Dhawan Space Center. You can hear this engine roar of the solid motors and the solid motors are meant to get the rocket you know, off the ground and, uh, you know, away from the denser layers of the Earth's atmosphere. And thereafter, it, uh, you know, goes on to the next stage. And the second stage engines light up, which are liquid engines. They have about 110 tons of fuel in them. And after that, it will finally be 25 tons of liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen that will light up. So during this launch itself, real time, there are several stations that are tracking this launch. Stations in Port Blair are tracking this launch. Stations uh, in Brunei are tracking this launch. All of these stations are towards the east of India. So as this rocket flies eastwards, um, you know, this vehicle is being tracked real time by multiple stations. And in the later phase of this uh, mission, once the spacecraft is placed around Earth orbit, there will be so many other Earth stations of NASA, the European Space Station, all of them, and even ISRO will be tracking this spacecraft as it circles the Earth at very high speeds of close to 28,000 kilometers per hour. Let's also remember the fact that, uh, you know, this mission will take... Um, a landing, lunar landing mission will take as much as six weeks to complete. And throughout this journey, the spacecraft will be tracked by India, by the European Space Station and also by NASA stations at various parts of the world. With video journalist Chandra Shekhar from Sriharikota, Siddharth MP, Beyond World is One. All right, that was a senior correspondent, Siddharth MP, getting us the moment the rocket was blasting off from the Sriharikota. And he's joining us live now. Welcome to the broadcast, Siddharth. 
Chandrayaan's third first day of the mission has of course ended successfully. You were there telling us or getting us all the updates as and when they happened. How was the feeling, Siddharth? So it's indeed a very special feeling because uh, we were here almost four years ago. It was another July, July 22nd. I vividly remember when Chandrayaan three, uh, Chandrayaan two mission uh, blasted off from Sri Harikota. That was July 22nd, 2019, and we were here reporting at that time. Also, it was an LVM three lifting off back then. That was also an afternoon launch, sometime past uh, 2 p.m. And today also we are uh, reporting, you know, a launch that took place around 2:35 p.m. Uh, 35 minutes past two. So it was a brilliant feeling because, you know, it's something amazing to witness such a huge rocket liftoff. And uh, what is actually worth a million dollars is the way that rocket engine roar shakes the entire place when it lifts off. So once the rocket is a couple of a thousand meters above the ground, you can hear the characteristic roar of the engines. And that's something that everyone enjoys because that's what, you know, depicts the power of uh, rocketry. That's what depicts the power of science and technology. That's what depicts the power of how far the Indian Space Agency has come. And that's the moment that thousands of uh, men, women, children uh, are across ages, across you know uh, geographies had come here in Sri Harikota to witness as the action unfolded here. And uh, we can't be at a better place to report all this action because this is in fact you know uh, the efforts of so many ISRO centers spread across India that's coming to fruition. So most common people know only Sri Harikota, but there are several ISRO centers spread across the length and breadth of India that worked on this mission to ready everything from rocket engines to rocket parts to satellites to the technology to the software name it there were hundreds of centers there were hundreds of indian industries all of their blood and sweat is what is materialized to even add more to this let me tell you that this particular launch was executed in record time isro typically takes 110 days to assemble this lvm3 vehicle but this time around they did it somewhere between 65 to 70 days almost 30 to 40 percent reduction so that's the kind of importance that chandrayaan 3 gets in the scheme of things in India's space program. Absolutely, Siddharth, and I hope it was a good, exciting deja vu moment for you. Thank you for getting us all those insights from Sri Harikota. We will be coming back to you as and when required.